Dalvina, we are the Losana, and get the Talitakini and Avarong and Bula FM at Golden Point Resort, but send the number to an ahead at Dinaka. Bula Vinaka and Adam Gotevita to Goy Nanti. Anda tali tahu kalau lembaga orang nak bulan film, nampun tu ane sel. Nada aku macam leh sih, baru kerakik ane sih nak bulan film nampun tu. Kalau ngau ratu kita ni buat apa? Anda tali tahu lembaga orang mana bulan film, nampun tu ane sel. Ungu boleh lusi. Bulan film nampun tu ane sel. Good evening, this is FBC News. I'm Jackie Spate. In this bulletin, death toll from tropical cyclone Winston rises to 42. High-level villages talk about experience. And Yasawa villages speak of the pain and suffering post-tropical cyclone Winston. The death toll as a result of tropical cyclone Winston's rampage has risen to 42. National Disaster Management Minister Niesero Ratu has confirmed six deaths were recorded from Vanombalavu Lao this morning. Meanwhile, Niesero Ratu says that it will take several days before a full report of damage can be compiled. The government continues to reach all affected areas and the minister says no one has been forgotten or neglected. Water has been restored to many areas. Waimanu... Sabur, Sabura winding, book, winding buku pumps and the thumb of our plants. We've also been working diligently to restore power throughout all the four divisions and we are preparing downlines and inspecting all of our grid to ensure that power can be delivered safely. Every wire will be treated as unsafe <coughs> until uh, inspections are completed. The Northern Division has had power fully restored and in the Central and Western Divisions power is being restored and assessments continue uh, to be undertaken. In the Eastern Division uh, we have engaged a private contractor to measure the extent of the damage and begin restoration work. The trail of devastation caused by tropical cyclone Winston will not be forgotten easily. Those are the words of 78-year-old Ili Mokoroi, the eldest survivor of a village in Dawasamu, Tailevu. Savara Tamboa has more details. <laughs> Villagers of Luvunavuaka in Tailevu still trying to come to terms of what devastation tropical cyclone Winston brought. Ili Mokoroi says whatever happened on Saturday night is like a nightmare. And if the storm had continued for a few more hours, he doesn't believe they would have survived. I was staying in my house with my wife and two of my grandchildren. I did not want to move to another place. But when the cyclone hit us that night, my son came and took us to his place. After a few minutes, I saw the roof of our house blown away and the rest got damaged. This is the worst cyclone I have ever encountered. And I can still remember when cyclone mainly hit us in the 70s, but this one is much stronger. This is the situation at Luvunavuaka village this morning where affected families are provided with shelter and food by nearby homes which were not badly affected. Village headman David Atonatonomata says they urgently need help. Out of the 23 houses in the village, 17 are totally destroyed. Sabera Tambua, FBC News. In the Yasawas, Ngunu village stood out with the most widespread damage. A community of 500 people now in dire need of emergency relief after Cyclone Winston. FBC News crew today visited the island to find out more. Rahit Deo has the details. On the island of Naviti in Yasawa sits Gunu village, the damage of Cyclone Winston everywhere. We arrived the first to do so. One of the villages was merry faced after being seriously hurt. Rajeli Vunimbala is the wife of the Turanga Nikoro and tells us some more than 40 homes are completely damaged. She tells us she almost died during the height of T.C. Winston. I saw the walls of my house has tumbled and was badly damaged, but I managed to cover myself with my blanket and just stayed there, waiting for my husband. My husband later came and took me. We went down to cross the flooded river, and I prayed to God, if I had to swim to get to the other side, I would do it, just because I wanted to survive. 
School teacher Varani Sese Sakia Levu also had a death defying experience. They forced in TC Winston. And survival, she says, is now a constant worry. We went out to look uh, into the villages. The, it is a um, very terrible experience, even looking at that, uh, their houses, uh, leaving them without any food. Uh, some of them. Uh, some of them only have their, the clothes that they wear, nothing left. You will be able to come together and um, put yeah. some food away? We, we, we have only the things that we have collected from that night. Even the thin stuff, some of them are dented. We've got wet sugar, but we know that uh, we have to make use of it since, uh, since it's a cyclone season. We won't be having access to the boat. We don't know how long it is for the for the rations to come. But uh, for now, we we are just making use of all the things that are available: the coconuts, the root crops, and everything that we know that we could eat. Thanks for A class 3 teacher breaking down. The concern, she adds, isn't for her. But for 160 students and their families, that call this shell of a village their home. Rohit Deo, FBC News. National Disaster Management Minister Nise Ruratu has raised disappointment on the misinformation going out in regards to relief efforts in the wake of Tropical Cyclone Winston. Seruratu says this does not help and everybody needs to work together and focus on helping the worst affected areas. Kelly Vavala has the details. National Disaster Management Minister Inia Seruratu has assured all Fijians that the government is looking after their safety and security and assistance will be provided to them. Uh, we, for all Fijians, that we are uh, looking after uh, their safety and security, and of course we are also looking into uh, assistance. There has been some misinformation about uh, Koro and uh, uh, Ovalau being assisted only and not the other uh, state of the infrastructure in those two islands because we have to send uh, most of the supplies by boat and because we have already received confirmation that the infrastructure on those islands are intact, then we would be uh, providing the assistance. We have received it. Communication has finally been made with people on Vanuam Balavu in the Lao group. And Seru Ratu says a ship will leave with supplies for the island this evening. Uh, we have also established communication with the people of Vanuam Balavu yesterday when we did the, uh, the aerial uh, reconnaissance uh, over the island. Uh, through the assistance of the uh, New Zealand Air Force, uh, we uh, airdropped uh, a portable radio uh, transmission device to the people and they were able to give us information uh, through uh, the naval Fiji naval officers that were uh, on board the aircraft as well. Manuambalavu is one of the worst hit islands by tropical cyclone Winston and all communication lines have been down since last Saturday when the cyclone struck. The government's focus and priority for the next 30 days is to access the worst affected areas. Affected areas in the Eastern Division, uh, Wanombalau, Koro, Ngau, Ovalau, Batiki, Nairai, and of course the other small islands as well, uh, Okaya, uh, and includes uh, Makungai. Uh, these are the critical areas for us uh, in uh, the Eastern Division. That does not mean that we will not look into the other areas as well. Uh, but in terms of prioritizing, those are priority one uh, in terms of our relief assistance. In the Northern Division, uh, Taveuni and the surrounding islands as well, Sabu uh, Sabu, Wele Utikina, Kumbula Utikina, Vuya, and Wainunu Tikinas, and probably Lekutu, and of course exiting into uh, the Central Division, uh, Naingani Island, Goma Island, and coastal Dausamu, and of course uh, uh, the interland of uh, Tailebu as well in the Wainembuka area uh, into the, the Raboda. 
uh, in the Western Division, starting from the coast uh, of uh, Ra, and of course uh, into um, Ba uh, and Lotoka, and of course exiting into Yasawa. Um, of course, that includes the settlements, the communities, the villages, and of course the townships uh, within the areas as well. Seruratu says they are continuing with aerial assessments and photography with the help of New Zealand aircraft Orion, so that more information from the affected areas can be gathered. Kelly Vadala, FBC News. Coming up after the break, more reports surface on extent of damages after tropical cyclone Winston. Yandra, I love listening to Gold FM at Golden Point Resort. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Hola, my name is General from Bakrati Village. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. I'm Moses from Valleu. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Marida Manako, I'm from Kandavu. I like listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Silipa from Tavo Town. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Welcome back, this is FBC News. The Ra province has been dubbed as one that has been hit worst in the Western Division as the aftermath of tropical cyclone Winston continues to unravel a picture of mass destruction. With registered death tolls sitting at eight, many believe that as relief works continue to reach the other five districts in the hinterlands of the province, more fatalities will be unearthed. Madhyam Bolaitamana has more. A desolate Raki Raki town as the business and state authorities start the relief works by clearing and putting the administrative arm of the Ra province back in order. This is the emergency operations center that is gathering information on the ground as far as evacuation centers, evacuees and organizing teams that is trying to access the unreached upper reaches of the province. These people, everybody is suffering from power, electric and water supply and uh, food, no food for the people here to survive and mostly I think the day of the government do very good to the people of this Reki Reki. I think this hurricane was the most powerful hurricane in my life I've ever seen this. For this 70 year old Reki Reki villager, the five hour ordeal of Winston on the fateful Saturday evening is something that still rings clear. The people of Ra need the quickest response, firstly with shelter, tents or tarpaulin, and most importantly, food. The Commissioner Western Manasa Tangi says most of its relief work will now channel to the Ra province to ensure that the urgent needs of those that matter most are adequately taken care of. The Emergency Operations Center in Lotoka has confirmed that Ra has 86 evacuation centers in 35 villages which are housing 8,883 evacuees in its 9 a.m. briefing today. Commissioner Western Manasa Tangi Dagimbao has confirmed that a team of soldiers and police officers have been deployed to Ra to help in the cleanup as food rations are expected to leave as early as this afternoon. Madhim Boletamana, FBC News. More than 1,000 houses were fully destroyed in the Ra province and especially in Raki Raki town due to tropical cyclone Winston. Raki Raki market, bus stand and supermarkets were severely damaged by gusty winds and flooding waters caused by Category 5 tropical cyclone Winston last Saturday. Ra Provincial Administrator Kilepi Kumbunameva said damage done by Cyclone Winston was worse than ever. Kumbunameva says government workers are working on affected areas to clear roads, bridges and debris. Red Cross has also reached Raki Raki to do their scoping and food rations. Tropical Cyclone Winston had severely damaged most places in the Ra province. When Ra Nevi village, many never knew things would return be so bad. Sainiani Boila has more. February 20th is a date villages in Ra Nevi Ra will never forget. 
as they ran to save their lives and their loved ones from monster cyclone Winston. Some villagers thought they were dreaming, while others said they were very lucky to be alive. We started to feel gusty winds and heavy rain at about 5.30 p.m. last Saturday. Winston took with him most of our belongings. Most houses were severely damaged and are without rooftops now. With 100 houses we have here in Raunivi, only a few are left. Raunivi villages have to pick up whatever they have left and move on in rebuilding their village. I'm pleading to the government to come and get a glimpse of what we have left after Cyclone Winston. About 1,171 houses were completely destroyed in the province of Ra. Saini Animboila, FBC News. Works on the Yangara Bridge is now complete and there is a temporary one now in place for light vehicles to pass through. Higgins has started repair works on the bridge this week by removing debris following the floods that came with TC Winston on Saturday. This excavator was the first vehicle to cross the Yangara River to begin works on the bridge that links the rest of the Western Division to Rakiraki. Some of the traveling public opted to cross the river in the shallow bits. Meanwhile, Fiji Water was also able to transport cartons of water to Rakiraki town to assist those who have been affected in the aftermath of tropical cyclone Winston. The Agriculture Ministry has also begun its preliminary survey to assess the damages caused by the cyclone. Initial assessments reveal crop damages in the Central Division comes to $2.3 million. National Disaster Management Inia Serratu says root crops and vegetables have been completely destroyed. Serratu says they have in stock vegetable seedlings from the Singatoka Research Station, which will be distributed to farmers during rehabilitation efforts. For the dairy industry, there are 313 affected livestock farmers in the Central Division and a total of 443 farmers in the Western Division. Wainbutha says the power outage and block road access resulted in the immediate loss of 15,000 litres of milk for dairy farmers. After the break, T.C. Winston described worse than Hurricane Bibi of 1972. मैं हूं रेयान खान गुरबो तालेबु के जैसे वेस्टिवल एग्रेड है गुरबो में उसी तरह मिर्ची एफएम नंबर वन है गुरबो में एलिन लटका में मिर्ची एफएम को लॉक कर दिया जाए मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट हम नकाशी से सायमा ने हमारे वेस्टिवल जैसे नंबर वन है वैसे मिर्ची एफएम नंबर वन है माय नेम इज दिनेश हम नेंडी में काम करता है स्लीपिंग जेंट्स रिप्लाई में और मिर्ची एफएम इज हॉट पे आई लाइक इट मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट Welcome back. This is FBC News. Tropical Cyclone Winston has been described as a monster and worse than Hurricane Bibi of 1972. FBC News spoke to villagers along the affected Wainimboka region in Thailevu who spoke of their experience. I could see the Thale again. Villagers of Navivewal in Wainimboka are happy that Tropical Cyclone Winston began when it was still daylight. FBC News spoke to some who said that this severe cyclone was unexpected and they did not think it would cause so much damage, let alone take so many lives. Many were still in shock and too emotional to face the camera. 56-year-old Paula Mareval of Nangia Village says they lost all communication by 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon and by 3 p.m. the winds had picked up, becoming dangerously strong. By this time, Marewalu says they were already hearing corrugated iron being ripped off many roofs and people started running for shelter. He says they have never before seen a cyclone that has caused so much damage. I'm standing here in Navewewali village in Wainimbuka where you can see behind me are the foundation of what used to be 12 houses that housed 12 different families. And speaking to residents and villagers here, they explained about their traumatic experiences with what they call is the worst ever hurricane or the worst ever cyclone they've ever encountered their entire lives. When roofs started flying, Mariwalu advised the rest of the village to take shelter under the floors of their houses as it was now impossible to stay safely inside the house. He and his family stayed under the house for four hours and said it was a long, never-shaking experience. 
Salah aku menawu dah satu. Tu sari itu aku sari buku nak kawa. Sambal aku ni kau. Sarong. It started raining heavily while we were still under the floors. But when we looked around, all we could see were roofs and things flying around. Trees had fallen. We could hear strong winds. When all that was happening, we had lost hope and was not even sure if we were going to see each other the next day. But when daylight came, we looked around, and all we can say now is that we will have to start again. The foundations that have been established by our forefathers have been destroyed. Vegetation has been affected, and some of us don't have clothes. The only clothes they have is the ones they have been wearing since the second attack. Navivewali village has been one of the worst affected in this area. For now, Navivewali village is depending on vegetables and root crops that were unaffected, but many have been washed away by the heavy floods and strong winds. Meanwhile, 30 houses out of 33 in a Langa village have been destroyed. <laughs> Village headman Ilaitia Tarnambongiza says it was a destructive long three hours trying to stay steady from the strong winds. This is the third massive cyclone he's encountered. However, tropical cyclone Winston has been seen as the monster taking everything with it and uprooting all plants and their vegetation. During the ordeal, Ilaitia and his wife had to risk their lives for their grandson and daughter's life who is heavily pregnant. We used a strong wire to tie the house down, but when the wind started to get strong, the wires broke and the walls of the houses started flying off. So we ran to the bedroom and told my daughter and my grandson to hide under the bed. We held and pressed on to the bed to make sure our daughter and grandson don't get harmed. Villages of Nelanga and others along the Wainimbuka corridor have been advised to clean up and wait for assessments to be conducted. Akusita Tale, FBC News. People will soon be able to make contact with their family and friends on the island of Taviuni. Commissioner Northern Choseva Vodea says a team of engineers from Telecom Fiji Limited are currently on the island to help restore these lines. Ellen Stalls has more. <laughs> Devastated by severe tropical cyclone Winston, the island of Tavuni lies in ruins. Authorities are still trying to establish communications with the island of Tavuni, which they have not been able to reach so far. What he has said in the meeting today that we should expect some uh, communication with Tavuni by late this afternoon. Commissioner Northern Chovesa Vodea says their detailed damage assessment teams have been deployed and will be back soon to compile their reports on the various centers. Rehabilitation, housing and rations will be determined after the reports are received. Sabu Sabu should be completing theirs tomorrow as well as Mbua and Tavioni uh, by Friday because they started late. So once we com collate all those information and that will give us an indication of uh, the nature of assistance that is required to be given to them. In the meantime, tents and tarpaulins are being sought for temporary residents of these affected people while they wait for their homes to be rebuilt or repaired. Ellen Stalls, FBC News. Not every family that has been affected by severe tropical cyclone Winston will be given rations. This has been confirmed by the Commissioner Western Manasa Tangiva Kimbao. Ellen Stalls again with this report. Images of families living out of evacuation centers, like this one in Tavua College, speaks volumes of the extent of damage to homes and villages in the Western Division. Commissioner Western Manasa Tangida Kimbao says people need to understand that rations are for those who are in dire need of it. Uh, rations is, should only be provided to those that have the source of livelihood cut off or destroyed. Hundreds if not thousands of people in the Western Division have been badly affected by severe tropical cyclone Winston. However, Tangida Kimbao says for those who are employed and get their salaries every fortnight are not entitled to rations. 
Now, people are thinking my house get blown away, I'm entitled to, to Russia. No, you are entitled to a temporary shelter or a rebuild back, uh, repairs to your house. Broken power lines, fallen trees and damaged infrastructure can be seen everywhere. But it's the least of people's worries as families try to get back with what's left of their lives, even if it's just caring for their young at evacuation centers. Ellen Stahls, FBC News. Roads in the Central and Northern Division are fully accessible while assessments are underway for the Eastern Division. Minister for National Disaster Management, Inia Seruratu, says work will begin as soon as there is a clearer picture of the situation in the East. However, nearly 90% of roads have been restored in the West with work well underway to make all roads accessible. Many of our jetties are also require substantial repairs. Seruratu says construction machines have been deployed to Koro Island to restore the Koro Island jetty. Unfortunately, while many Fijians require urgent medical care, many hospitals have also been badly damaged. We have to re-establish communication with the Eastern Division, but medical teams have been deployed in the Central Division. The Wenbukasi Hospital has been badly damaged and some services have been temporarily relocated to the first floor. And in the West, Ba Hospital has taken on major damage and requires substantial repair works. In the north, Lambasa Hospital has only suffered minor damages and is operating at full capacity. For all affected areas, medical teams have either arrived or, or are on their way so that every affected Fijian gets the health care that they need during this time. After the break, more on tropical cyclone Winston and its aftermath. My name is Freddy, I'm uh, from Gamiatong. I listen to Mario on the traffic jam every afternoon. Hi, my name is Sala, I live in Asinu, Today FM rocks. My name is Denasa and I'm from Lutoka and I love listening to Today FM. My name is Ulamila, I work at Golden Point Resort. I love listening to Today FM, it rocks in Rakiraki. I'm Mary from Mandera, I love listening to Today FM, Today FM rocks. We love listening to Today FM, Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Welcome back. This is FBC News. Fijians are working together to assist those affected by tropical cyclone Winston. The Fiji Broadcasting Corporation and Morris Headstroms are partnering up to support the Prime Minister's National Disaster Relief and Rehabilitation Initiative. FBC has placed a water tank outside its office in Suva. The same will be done outside MHCC in the coming days in an effort to help the ones in need. FBC Chief Executive Ria Sayed Keum says it's time for Fijians to unite and support those in need. For the people of Fiji, we are asking uh, all citizens of Suva, because you have not been affected, to please give generously when you walk past FBC, when you walk uh, past MH or into MHs and you see a water tank with a sign on it uh, for the collection, Please give generously because uh, our people have been affected like never before. All funds from the Sangamoli Drive will go towards supporting the Prime Minister's Relief Fund and members of the public are being asked to dig deep and give generously. Uh, we are asking uh, the residents of Suva and the greater Suva area to drop in a coin, a uh, Sangamoli or if they want to put in a bit more uh, money than that, uh, to, to do so. So the, the water tanks, uh, you know, everyone knows what a water tank looks like. It's going to be green. All the money that is going to be collected uh, in these water tanks uh, is going to be given to the Prime Minister's Rehabilitation uh, Fund. MHS General Manager Kuna Sabaratnam says they greatly support the initiative and are willing to help the ones in need in any way possible. The tanks will be around for the next few weeks, after which the money collector will be handed over to the Prime Minister's National Disaster Relief Fund. Rohit Deo, FBC News. The cleanup in the Western Division post-tropical cyclone Winston has begun. With properties damaged and debris all over the affected areas, authorities have started to clean up as the rebuilding phase starts. People who are affected and have lost practically everything have also been out and about trying to get their lives back on track. Damaged homes, along with broken power lines and trees, were strewn all over the place. 
Digicel has donated $100,000 to the Prime Minister's Cyclone Relief Fund and an additional $50,000 to be used towards relief and rehabilitation. Digicel Fiji Chief Executive Darren McLean says an early response is needed to help Fiji get back on its feet. The Mortibai Group has also pledged support with $50,000 worth of basic food and household items. Credit Corporation Fiji Limited today made a donation of $20,000 to the Fiji Red Cross Cyclone Winston Appeal. Kalge Pamale Fiji Limited is providing hygienic items such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, washing and bath soaps, as well as multi-purpose cleaners and more. Over 33,000 items have been sent to the Fiji Red Cross Society for distribution to those in need. Showers affected most parts of the country today. A trough of low pressure remains slow moving over Fiji. Associated clouds and showers affect most parts of the group. Let's take a look at temperatures. It was another humid day with all centers recording over 30 degrees. And looking at tomorrow, it's occasional showers and few thunderstorms over most places. Isolated heavy falls likely. And the further outlook, it's some showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands, afternoon or evening showers elsewhere. Recapping the main stories for tonight. 42 dead so far after tropical cyclone Winston. Thailevo villager speaks of losing his wife and government urges for correct information at all times. Remember, you can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizens eyes at fbc com.fj or share it with us by Facebook page FBC News and if you're on Twitter follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC underscore news or simply hashtag FBC News. You've been watching FBC News. I'm Jackie Spate. Bye for now. I'm Sarah. I'm from Tawa and I love listening to today FM. Today FM rocks. My name is Freddy, I'm uh, from Gamia Tong. I listen to Mario on the traffic jam every afternoon. Hi, my name is Sala, I live in Asinu, Today FM rocks. My name is Denasa and I'm from Lutoka and I love listening to Today FM. My name is Ulamila, I work at Golden Point Resort. I love listening to Today FM, it rocks in Rakiraki. I'm Mary from Mandera, I love listening to Today FM, Today FM rocks. We love listening to Today FM, Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM.